A video of a man inside a self-driving Tesla Cybertruck wearing a virtual headset is going viral. And that person told KSL what the video doesn't show is the people's reaction to it. Yeah, so in a story you will see only on KSL here, new specialist Shelby Lofton tracked down the man behind the wheel here and she breaks down the popular post. It's got folks wondering if this was a dangerous stunt or it was just kind of a made-up skit. It looks like nothing else on the road. For some car lovers. Never has a car drawn more eyes. Tesla's Cybertruck is a glimpse into the future. Albeit it is super ugly. It wasn't necessarily the boxy vehicle that caught other drivers' attention in Lehigh on Saturday. It was the man behind the wheel. People were freaking out. The video appears to show a man using his hands to operate his headset instead of his car. Everybody was concerned that I was like sending emails or actually using some of the applications that are on the Apple Vision Pro. That driver is Tase Anderson. You can see straight through the headset, but I would never actually do that because it's stupid and it doesn't make sense. He's a content producer for Supercar Ron, an anonymous collector that makes videos with eye-catching cars. We use these cars as kind of a catalyst to bring people together and then promote charity and donate to charities. Anderson admits the video was staged. He says he wasn't interacting with the headset and the Cybertruck doesn't have self-driving enabled. We thought it was clear enough that it was satirical, but other people just didn't read into that. Other people, including U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg, who tweeted, reminder, all advanced driver assistance systems available today require the human driver to be in control. I was actually driving with my knees, albeit that might not have been the safest thing. The Utah Highway Patrol says they haven't received any reports about this driving stunt the day it was filmed or since it's been posted online. They said they haven't seen anything like this at all in the state. I think it caught a lot of people's attention, uh, thinking that something like this could be real. UHP says they are training to prepare for situations like this one. They reminded drivers that they need to be in control of the car, regardless of the technology. They've got to be able to react to any type of a hazard. And is this what the future looks like? No, not at all. I hope it's not because it's the dumbest thing ever. In Lehigh, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.